In New York City, the United Nations General Assembly voted for the 13th time to end the US blockade on Cuba. This year's vote mimics that of last year with 188 countries opposed to the blockade and only the United States and Israel voting for its continuation. In Mexico, protests continue surrounding the disappearance of 43 students in the state of Guerrero. The Mexican Attorney General confirmed the arrest of four members of an organized crime group suspected of being involved. In Syria, a new video from the Islamic State group shows a man who identifies himself as British hostage John Cantley. He reports that Kobani is now under Islamic State control and that the battle is nearly over. In Colombia, tensions flared at a forum for victims of the country's long-standing civil war. The forum took place in wake of the calls from the FARC guerrillas for a national census of victims. In the United States, lava flow from an erupting volcano in Hawaii is encroaching on people's homes. The molten rock from the Kilauea volcano is threatening the historic Paoa village.